Emmanuel Nunez is not your typical Houstonian. In a city where the average commuter drives nearly an hour a day, he almost never gets in his car. He does nearly all of his travel by bike and public transit, giving him a relationship with the city and his close -in neighborhood very different from most commuters. Just over 10 years ago, he identified two missing links in Houston's growing bicycle infrastructure. So Hotel Two Bridges really is born out of a frustration that really started more than 10 years ago for me. And I say frustration, but really inspiration as well. He decided to push for the construction of two bike bridges in the Heights and ended up becoming an advocate for Houston's urban infrastructure at large. Let's find out how he ended up here and the future he envisions for one of Houston's most iconic neighborhoods. I sat down with Emmanuel at the historic Heights Fire Station to discuss his story, the Tale of Two Bridges projects, and the potential of Houston as a walkable and bikeable place. Here's what he had to say. My name is Emmanuel Nunez, and I am the lead organizer and founder for A Tale of Two Bridges. I was born in Mexico City, and I moved to Houston initially when I was about 13. I lived in Houston, went to high school in Houston, went to the University of Texas at Austin. I moved around quite a bit after college. So I lived in Philadelphia, Durham, North Carolina, and Cincinnati. Back in Houston, I've lived in Washington Avenue, Montrose, the Heights. I believe the Heights is probably one of the best neighborhoods in the country. And it's poised to be one of the most walkable and bikeable places in the US. I get around really anywhere that I have to go by bike. I've been doing that since I was in college. You really kind of have to make a choice. Do you wake up 30 minutes before class or seven minutes before class? Biking is always faster than walking. You certainly can't park anywhere. When I moved back to Houston, I realized that the distances really aren't that great. So a tale of two bridges really is born out of a frustration that really started more than 10 years ago for me. And I say frustration, but really inspiration as well from transformative urban projects. The two cornerstone projects is the Patterson Street Bridge and the Rutland Street Bridge. The Patterson Street Bridge extends Patterson Street across White Oak Bayou, essentially connecting the West End neighborhood to the Houston Heights neighborhood. And the Rutland Street Bridge is going to connect the, the Heights to the White Oak Bayou Trail. Now, they're both separated roughly even to create a street grid that is more reasonable for, for walking and biking. The Heights has been fractured by bayous and highways, and these bridges are meant to really reinforce that street grid. The Patterson Street Bridge is going to bring down a trip that would normally take somewhere around 24 minutes walking to just the amount of time that it would take to cross a bridge. And that's what this is really about, that sort of micro-mobility that is going to be able to connect two neighborhoods that have been separated for so long. The Rutland Street Bridge is fully funded by TxDOT and it is about 75% in design. As of our latest update, construction should begin in October of 2024. The Patterson Street Bridge is a little bit more complicated. We're waiting to hear back from the results of a grant application filed by the Memorial Heights Redevelopment Authority regarding preliminary engineering for the Patterson Street Bridge. Building two pedestrian bridges across White Oak Bayou is a pretty feel-good project. I think it's great because it doesn't really take anything away from anybody. It's not controversial like certain bike lanes where car lane is being removed. It was a strategic move to start with something that is a pretty feel-good project. We've had a lot of support from local neighborhood associations, including every neighborhood association that touches the trails on either side. Our elected officials have been very supportive. I would say one of the biggest detractors is a conversation that has to do with equity. In a neighborhood that is already really great for walking and biking and property values continue to rise, sometimes the question is asked, why should we invest more in this space? Really, for us, we believe that the Heights still deserves its fair share of transportation justice. So all of Houston has been neglected in terms of how people can get around. The car has always been prioritized and really walking, biking, or transit, we have a long way to go everywhere in Houston. On the north end, the two bridges terminate at about 30 acres of green space that are currently owned by TxDOT. Part of our proposal is to be able to conserve that green space, enhance it, and really make it serve as a park for the community. We also are involved in converting a portion of the MKT trail between Yale and Shepherd into a linear park. A Tell of Two Bridges is also 
very invested in regional micro mobility. So what that means is that we want to be able to make sure that what we have here in the Heights, every neighborhood in, the, in Houston is able to have. And we believe that hiking bike trails, uh, connecting all the neighborhoods in Houston is one of the best ways to uh, get people to move around as um, the city continues to densify and we want to meet our sort of environmental goals. One of the best combinations for getting around in Houston is bike and bus or bike and light rail. You're able to cover so much more ground. It really takes infrastructure in order to be able to make it realistic for people to bike in Houston. We've envisioned a 30 mile green loop around Houston and we work together with a lot of um, entities in the area, including Bike Houston, including a lot of neighborhoods in their respective areas in order to push for these missing links in this 30 mile loop. For example, we, we have been able to link up different governmental agencies at the right times in order to push for street rehabilitations and street projects that are going to advance the creation of this 30 mile green loop. A lot of our proposals involved the shuffling of very large amounts of dollars from you know, players that have so many interests, including the city, the tours, the county. And so it can seem like it's a very, very long and difficult process. So what we do day to day is really engage with the community to make sure that everything that we're doing, that we're advocating for, is really what the community wants. And some of the way that that really shows up is in our community tree plantings, in our um, efforts to expand bicycle parking availability in Houston, as well as in our efforts to engage with our businesses and uplift our local community. We started our economic development effort with the I Love 11th Street Fest initiative. So I Love 11th Street is a campaign to bring some branding and some, some focus. 11th Street is lined with more than 75, mostly local merchants. What we wanna do for 11th Street is what Austin has for South Congress. Houston really has never had these sort of very iconic streets. And it's not because there's a shortage of interesting things or because there's a shortage of passion, but really just because there hasn't been these instruments that bring the community together. Now, it's, it's really important for our group to make sure that we as a community get to decide what happens in the future. There's a lot of change coming towards us, and the only way that we're going to be able to face it and make sure that it works for all of us is if we all stand together. And that's what the I Love 11th Street Fest campaign is about. You know, part of what keeps me really motivated to continue on this effort is the fact that I have a very supportive partner at home. His name is Gerald. And he has always been there by my side. All the crazy ideas that I've ever had. I am lucky enough to be able to go out there and bike almost every day, go out on the run. And I always pass by this uh, Helen Keller quote just outside of St. Andrews that says, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. And that really reflects to everything that Italo to Bridges has been able to do. And it's only thanks to all the great partners that we've had, including Bike Houston, Patterson Park, Friends of Lawrence and Milroy Parks, and so many others. Emmanuel continues his journey to make Houston walkable and bikeable, and his experience is testament to the impact of local civic involvement. The study request submitted by TERS5 to TxDOT to evaluate the need for more walking and cycling infrastructure was approved after the recording of this interview. What started as a daily frustration kicked off an advocacy effort with real-world impacts, forming long-standing relationships with groups interested in changing the status quo direction of Houston. The 11th Street Fair kicks off in just a few days, and it will be a great opportunity to celebrate the potential iconism of one of Houston's great streets. Thanks for joining me for this interview. Comment below with what changes you think Houston's infrastructure could benefit from. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and join me on the next adventure.